Y'all have no idea how excited I am for this episode. The expectations are so high. The expectations are through the roof. It, if it doesn't pull through, we're not gonna think about it if it doesn't pull through. So I've been trying super, super hard to avoid spoilers for this episode. What I do know about this episode, because I reacted to the first trailer that Mundo Gloop pulled out, was that Adrian goes into the basement. Um, Adrian is probably going to get akumatized into something other than Cat Blanc. Shadow Moth is going to merge the Cat Miraculous with his two other Miraculouses. Marinette is accidentally going to reveal in front of Shadow Moth and the akumatized Adrian. And there's going to be a lot of fighting action sequences. I also know that this is a what if scenario so that none of none of the spicy stuff that's happening in this episode is probably going to carry over into the actual timeline of this episode but a girl can dream. I asked you guys in a poll on my youtube channel if I should react to the second ephemeral trailer that came out on the Mundo Gloop channel and it was a 60 40 split which is actually pretty close so I decided not to react to it because a lot of people said that it spoiled too much and to be honest I tried super hard to avoid spoilers for that trailer but I can't kind of know that Adrian's gonna reveal. Although I'm not too mad about that because I've seen like images of Adrian and Ladybug and like Adrian and Marinette. So I kind of, I don't know. I kind of assumed, but I'm not too mad about that because I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen. Obviously a reveal is inevitable at some point in Miraculous. So it's not really the fact that there is going to be a reveal. That's the surprising part. It's how it's going to happen, which I don't know anything about. So with that being said, let's get started. Y'all, I'm literally peeing. This is so exciting. Oh, Gabriel, Gabriel, a hundred times again, it's the hundredth episode, but Gabriel, you know, at some point you have to ask yourself, why am I failing hundreds, if not thousands of times? Maybe it's because I'm stupid. Maybe it's because it's not meant to be. I'm pretty sure the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Ooh, a hundredth collection. We're seeing lots of repetition of the number a hundred. That means it's gonna be spicy. Responsabilité du succès de cette conférence de presse. Dang, Adrian's literally being pushed to represent the face of the Gabriel Gress brand at the age of 14. We're pretty sure his age is 14, possibly 15, but most likely 14. Actually, I'm not sure, 14, 15, but still, that's super young. And you're putting all this pressure on him and he's already a sad angsty boy because he's having troubles with Ladybug. <laughs> Okay, say calm Amanda, this, we're only a minute in. <laughs> Didier, votre mère disparu il y a peu. Oh, so they officially say that she's gone missing. That's interesting. So whenever they talk about Emily, it's always been super weird because she's not dead. She's just gone missing. And I've talked about this a bunch as well. It's so weird. Like if someone goes missing, that's pretty unusual. Like you gotta find the body at some, like how, do, how does the person just gone missing and nobody's looking for her? Especially if nobody's looking for her in Gabriel's house, like in the bed. Basement. Doesn't Gabriel's house have like a massive energy source or like power source? That's suspicious, is it not? And also, like, doesn't Adrian wonder like, oh, could my mom like walk through the door at any point? Because he doesn't have that closure that she's dead. Like, why did she go missing? It's so mysterious and nobody seems to be asking these questions. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, this is like so cool. We never see all of these characters all at the same time. Oh, they all look so good. <gasps> Damn, this really is everybody. How many people we've got? Seven to take on this guy? Is he really that powerful? Aww. Mm, Ladybug, he's busy. He's, he has so many things going on right now. Oh my goodness. I just thought of something. What? So, you know, Adrian's whole big thing of being angsty is that he doesn't think Ladybug will need him. What if this episode is like the culmination of that and Ladybug is like, bro, I need you. And then he reveals, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. All possible combinations? Girl, do you know how long that'll take? Girl, this is... Oh my god. That was super lucky. Bro, you could have been there for years. Oh my god, that was way more than seven. Literally every single superhero was there except for Cat Noir. Is he gonna feel left out? Is he gonna get FOMO? Oh wait, okay, hold on. I can count the number of fists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it's ten times ten. A hundred! A hundred, okay, a hundred times. Jeez, we're really, <laughs> we're bringing on the repetition I see, Thomas. Oh, oh, goodness, why is he here? <laughs> um, that's not a very good relationship dynamic. She has to have power over him. 
Mm -mm, that's supposed to be equal. <gasps> oh my god, wait, does Luca know both of their identities at this point? Okay, we need to do some quick research because that's an important part. Yes. Oh my god, this is after Wishmaker. Oh. <laughs> she has to discover his identity? <laughs> He's literally all of us. She's like, but what if Shadowmoth captures us? We don't care, girl. We just want to reveal. We do not care. So is this all going to be erased by Viperion? Is that is that what I'm sensing? Uh, oh, I can't take it. My lady know our heart. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't. Mm, all right. I guess you have a point. But then how are you ever going to reveal your identities to each other? There's always going to be a villain. Are you telling me we're never going to get a reveal? No, no, no. I'm not. We're just going to keep moving on. This is too much for me. Oh my God. Stop. I'm... I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So this plan basically is pointless because Luca already knows at that point, but Ladybug doesn't know that Luca knows. Right? I'm... Okay, I need to calm down. The whole video is just gonna be me hyperventilating. Okay, why would you be doing it at the top, top of the Eiffel Tower though? Don't, can't people see? Isn't there a more private place where you can do this? Il faut que tout soit terminé à une heure du matin. Oh, he's not gonna be able to... He's not gonna be able to pull it off. Oh, but... Okay, so is Bunnix gonna- are we gonna see Bunnix come in? Like, how is this gonna work? On devrait se dire nos identités secrètes. <gasps> ah! Oh wait, so she's straight up lying to him. Is she doing this because she knows it's gonna rewind time? Can't you just tell him that the Celestial Guardian has to know who he is? But she's like literally making it interesting. En vrai, je suis... Je suis... Adrien Agrest. That is not what I pictured. That is not... Des transformations. Oh my god. 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 <gasps> that was so magical. That was so beautiful. Mon cœur bat à 100. A hundred. Yes, we get it, Thomas. Zero. On peut plus revenir en arrière. Stop. Stop playing with me. Je, je crois que je suis curieuse de voir ce qui... Ooh, Marinette, you're playing with some risky business here. Mm, Marinette's figured out the love square. What do you mean you don't love Cat Noir? What do you mean? Girl, if Cat Noir is the real Adrian and Marinette just said that she doesn't love Cat Noir, but she does love him though. Marinette, that's the thing. That's that's the thing. You do love him, right? Come on. You you do love him, right? That otherwise the love square is going to crumble. <laughs> and I can't take that right now. Je suis un chat. Miaou miaou. Not Adrian being openly a cat boy in class. You need to calm down, sir. Ça peut arriver à tout le monde. Oh. 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 <sighs> Stay calm, Amanda. So she can't handle the fact that Adrian and Cat Noir are the same person. I mean, yeah, I guess this is what I was worried about the whole time because they do seem like two completely different people, but I felt like at this point in the show, she would realize that they have similar qualities and that she's in love with both of them. But I guess this means that it's too early. Seven seasons, y'all. Seven seasons of this. I que tu connaissais une personne pour découvrir ensuite qu'elle a une facette secrète que tu n'aurais jamais pu imaginer. Luca's like, you don't need to tell me, sis. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> I love him so much. Me de mieux la connaître et de l'aimer encore plus. Oh, Luca's still down bad. Oh, Luca, it's okay, buddy. You're just gonna have to get over it. I'm sorry to say this. Not the rain. Not the rain. Not the rain. Not the rain. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up. Qu'une de mes meilleures amies est aussi celle que j'aime et admire plus que tout au monde. That was so cute. 
This episode is doing things to me, man. The fact that this is all gonna get erased, though, is really just what's what's killing me, quite frankly. Oh my god. Not them being all cute. So Gabriel knows about Milady because Katamar says it all the time and he's Shadow Moth. And so is he gonna lead Adrian to the basement now, now that this reveal is kind of like, you know, it was a subtle reveal. It wasn't in the midst of a battle. Now Gabriel has to wrestle with this on his own. We'll see how he handles things. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't promising at all. Oh no. Rejoins-moi. No. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> A hundred weeks, we get it, Thomas. Stop taking me out of the moment. No. 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 Oh my god, he's still trash. What the heck, Gabriel? You never cease to amaze me at how much I can despise a person. Nothing's changed. We got that little scene when Adrian was feeling sad and Gabriel was like, oh, you can talk to me if you feel sad, hmm? We thought, well, I didn't think, but some of y'all thought, oh, Gabriel has about a smidgen of human decency, but guess what? No, no, I knew. I knew his rotten core all along. It just surprises me at how low he can go sometimes. If he may, je suis ton père. Oh, that was a little luck. Uh... Luke Skywalker moment, kind of. No, no. Was he just rubbing a ring that wasn't there? Interesting. Oh. Oh. He looks creepy, Loki. <gasps> oh, my boy Luca's coming into play. <gasps> oh, shoot. Second chance. Des transformations. <laughs> Did you see AJ? He was like, is that my boy Luca? Ooh, this is so interesting. Oh my god, they look so good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I literally did not understand the logistics of that plan at all, but I'm just gonna assume that it made sense. <laughs> Falling. In love. I just feel so incredibly drained. <laughs> that was, that was amazing. That was amazing. I, you know, it, it, it really delivered. It did. Actually, now that I've seen this episode, I kind of want to see what that second trailer was that I didn't watch. So let's watch that really quickly and then I'll give my final thoughts. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I didn't watch this. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 gave away a lot. Good goodness. Yeah, no, that that was way too much. That was way too much for sure. That that was a lot, and I don't know if you could tell, but I'm kind of still processing everything. I think what got me was Adrian's reaction because it was just so wholesome. I, you know, he was just so sweet. It was literally seeing them as a couple was so cute. I think what also got me was the fact that Marinette doesn't think she's in love with Cat Noir, which I thought we were getting a love square flip, but apparently <laughs> uh, she's not recognizing that flip yet. Gabriel's still trash. We've been new. I've been new. I thought we were going to see Emily, but I guess that's just not going to happen. I think we will see her wake up eventually. I guess maybe that's for another time. Maybe it'll happen in the finale. Plague didn't really, re we didn't really get to see Plague react to the fact that Nuru and Dusu, his like best mates, are under his nose the entire time, which was a little bit disappointing for me, but oh well. Luca got to play a big role in this. My boy Luca. I love him so much. I am so glad. Wow. I had a fantastic time. It was so good. I was low-key crying. I was low-key hyperventilating the entire time. I was low-key lost for words the entire time. But yeah, I hope you got to experience it for the first time without too many spoilers. It's so annoying that they have these trailers because it's almost impossible to avoid if you're on social media and you're a part of the Miraculous fandom at all. But yeah, this was such a good episode. I'm excited for the Gabriel Gress episode. I'm excited for the season finale. We only have a few episodes left of season four, so that's really exciting. I'm gonna 
gonna be processing this for the rest of the day. I hope you guys are having a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>